Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to my father's closet. Hey, hey. Ooh, no. Yeah. The bloopy doo. Ba, ba, ba. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to my father's closet. Alright, so today we're gonna have a little, uh, little discussion. Uh, Q&A about proper wedding attire. Um, what did they really mean when they said black tie optional? So I'll, uh, I'll start it off with uh, showing you guys this really cool book that I love, that I get a lot of uh, tips and tricks from about men's fashion. It's really traditional, really cool, really classic. And it is this book. It is called A Gentleman Gets Dressed Up. They also have other versions like uh, a gentleman gives a speech or a gentleman goes to a wedding or uh, something like that. So I'll start off with a little anecdote. I had a friend uh, host a black tie optional wedding. Please excuse uh, the cat. Uh, I had a friend with a black tie optional wedding and uh, I thought, hmm, cool. I mean, I've never been to one of these before. Um, sounds like a good reason to get dressed up. So I put on my suit, I put on a black suit, a white shirt, and some funky looking tie. And uh, I was like, all right, I'll go a little bit more unique on the shoes. I'll wear brown. I wore brown desert boots to a black tie optional wedding. Instantly regretted it, instantly. Right when I walked in the door, saw everybody else had a black tie clothing on. And uh, I was sitting there with uh, some suede brown shoes. Anyways, it was a big mess. Made me realize how important sticking to what the host wants you to wear really is. Um, so we'll just go through a couple of those and uh, yeah, I'll let you know uh, how to guide your style. Everything I'm getting is from this book, A Gentleman Gets uh, Dressed Up. This is from Brooks Brothers. Um, it was written by uh, these two guys, John Bridges and Brian Curtis. Um, I believe this book is around 50 years old. It's really cool and really worth the money. Has a lot of really awesome information. And it's really easy to read, um, which is nice for me. So if you want to just check that out, that's how easy it is to read. It's little bullet points, fun facts um, that every gentleman can easily read. So uh, let's get right into it. All right, so the first up, we have black tie. Now, black tie is uh, one of the pinnacles, uh, one of the two peaks of uh, eloquent dressing. That is your finest dinner clothes. That is a tuxedo or the nicest suit you probably own. Something dark, sleek. Um, at black tie events, the, uh, your goal should not be to stand out. Um, it should be to blend in. And uh, that's exactly what the people who invited you want you to look like, is wearing a tuxedo. So yeah, says black tie, stick to black tie. Next up is black tie optional. Now this is probably more common than black tie um, in our modern days. So what they are really saying is they want you to wear black tie. Hey, we're gonna leave you the option though to make your own mistakes. Um, so yes, wear black tie if it says black tie optional. Um, there's no point in standing out at somebody else's party. Um, that's their time to shine, so let them have it. Um, go black tie. There's plenty of cool tuxedos, different ways to uh, dress your tuxedo. You can go bow tie tie, um, you can have wing tips on the collar, or full collar. You can even wear a cummerbund if you like, um, but just keep it black tie black suit, black pants, black shoes. All right, so now we have cocktail attire. So what that really means is wear a dark suit or a really nice sports coat. You can wear separates, um, but if you do, make sure it's darker colors. Um, yeah, no, uh, no khaki pants, uh, just normal dark slacks or trousers. Uh, Always, I like to err on the side of overdressing rather than underdressing, which is the exact opposite of what it says to do in this book. 
Um, but I'd rather be a bit overdressed, look like I took some time to think about what I was wearing, than be underdressed and look like I didn't care at all. So yeah, I'd, uh, I'd, I'd go overdressed rather than underdressed for the most part. Um, but if you just wear a suit to almost any event, you're not going to look bad. All right, so then we have business casual, and business casual is probably uh, the least well interpreted. Uh, I see a lot of guys wearing polo shirts, uh, like the, the three button classic polo shirts, underneath sport coats. And to me, that's not something I find fashionable or cool. I just put on a full uh, button down or a button front. Whichever you so choose, I'd just go for the full shirt rather than a uh, short sleeve polo underneath a suit jacket. It just looks a little goofy to me, and I prefer to stay away from looking like a goofball. Except when I wear my chacos. It's the only time I like looking like a goofball. But yeah, guys, so business casual, uh, stick to a uh, nicer sports coat, um, wouldn't wear jeans ever with a sports coat, I just wear separates. There's plenty of chinos in the world to go around. So, moral of the story, sports coat and a button front. And casual. Casual is whatever you want it to be. So that could be jeans, that could be slacks, that could be a sport coat, that could be shorts. You could even wear capris if you like but I don't recommend it. Uh, so yeah, casual is uh, probably the most self-explanatory. It means your host wants you to dress comfortably. They want you to be you. Um, so that's a perfect time to show some personal style. At the same, uh, on the same coin, is the same side of the coin. There's a coin. Show some style. All right, and finally, we have white tie. I've, uh, I've actually never been to a white tie event. Uh, I don't, I guess I don't have wealthy enough friends to host white tie events. Maybe I need to start getting involved with charities. I feel like charities host uh, white tie fundraiser events and that's the only time I could see myself wearing a white tuxedo with coattails. Unless I was directing a concerto. I could see myself doing that. Not directing a concerto wearing a white tuxedo with coattails. But yeah, so that's what exactly what that means. Wear white. Wear a white tuxedo. Um, this is the pinnacle of uh, fine dressing. It's going to be really hard to find something affordable uh, with uh, tailcoats in white. So you're going to have to go to a, a primo store and pay a primo price for a primo suit. Never used the word primo before, but that was fun. But yeah, guys, so uh, that about wraps it up. Hopefully, I can share some more stuff for you um, with you from this book. A gentleman gets dressed up. It's super useful. I think it's twenty nine dollars at Brooks Brothers. I don't wear a whole lot of Brooks Brothers, but I love their style guide. It's super awesome. And it's so easy to read. So yeah, go pick one up if you're interested. And if not, keep, uh, keep watching these videos because I'll keep pulling information from here and sharing my take on it with you guys. So yeah, thanks again for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Check out my blog, which is www.myfatherscloset.blogspot.com. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thanks, guys. Oh, man. That was bad. Oh, kill him!